بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو دس نیکسٹ ویڈیو اینڈ دس از دی فرسٹ ویڈیو ان دی سیریز آف ویڈیوز آن دی بائن فارمیٹکس سو وی ول اسٹارٹ ود دی بیسک انٹروڈکشن اینڈ ڈیفینیشن آف دی بائن فارمیٹکس ناؤ دی بایولوجسٹ جسٹ لائک دی بینکرس اور دی فلائٹ کنٹرولرس دے آر یوزنگ کمپیوٹر دیز ڈیز But what biologists do that they are using computers to address problems which are specific to biology for specialized tasks. And uh, you will see a lot of specialized tasks in this series of videos that how the biologists they are using computer to address these specialized tasks of biology. Now the specialized task uh, in which these biologists they are interested when they are taken together that actually uh, make up the field of the bioinformatics. Uh, if you uh, more specifically define the bioinformatics so that would be the computational branch of molecular biology now the uh, bioinformatics if you uh, define that uh, very specifically the bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field uh, which is interested in the development of methods and software tools for understanding the biological data and bioinformatics is very much interested in those biological data when the data set they are very large and complex now in this present era of the uh, scientific explosion a lot of biological data that has been generated and it is very difficult to analyze them manually so what bioinformatics do is that they are developing the methods and software tools for understanding these large set of the biological data making them easy to analyze as compared to the manual methods if you talk about uh, a little bit history of the uh, bioinformatics so uh, before the era of the bioinformatics uh, there were only two ways uh, for the uh, analysis of the biological data one was the performing experiments in the, the living organisms uh, which are also known as the in vivo experiments for example if you are uh, doing an experiment within a living organism those kind of the experiments they are known as the uh, in vivo experiments so that was one of the uh, one of the experimental set that was available to biologists for analyzing the uh, biological uh, experiments and getting uh, results from these biological experiments the other way the biologists they were doing experiment was uh, in an artificial environment Uh, so called is the uh, in vitro environment uh, in vitro from the latin in glass because you are doing the experiments in the lab you are using the uh, petri plates you are using the uh, glasses you are using the uh, uh, beakers that why that is known as the uh, in vitro study so in vitro when you are doing that outside a living environment and in vivo when you are doing the experiments within and living organisms so taking this analogy further uh, the we can say that bioinformatics is in fact the in silico biology uh, because the bioinformatics they are using these microprocessors and these microprocessor they are actually uh, built on these uh, silicon chips so these uh, silicon chips on which these microprocessors they are built so this term in silico actually come from this silicon so now we have got a uh, three kind of the uh, ways for analyzing or doing experiments in the uh, biology so in, within the living organism so that would be in vivo uh, in vitro uh, in an artificial environment and in silico that would be the uh, studies of the bioinformatics uh, before going into the uh, details uh, in the next video the first thing uh, i want to focus on is uh, why bioinformatics is important or what are the applications of the bioinformatics so because of the uh, centrality of the bioinformatics uh, to a lot of cutting edge developments in molecular biology uh, people from many different fields they have been stumbling across the term in a variety of different contexts so the individuals from different fields they are using bioinformatics for their own purposes uh, for their own uh, uh, you can say advantages Uh, for example bio, uh, bioinformatics holds a very different meaning uh, for a student of biology for a student of medical or computer sciences so they are actually using the uh, bioinformatics for a very different kind of the context 
So a professional uh, who is working in a pharmaceutical industry, he or she would be very much interested in using the bioinformatics for the development of different kind of the drugs, uh, for the development of different kind of the uh, antibiotics, for different kind of the vaccines and that sort of stuff. So a pharmaceutical industrialist, he would be very much interested in the development of these kind of the drugs or the vaccines for the human beings. Now, a liar or a policeman, uh, uh, he or she would be very much interested in worrying about the DNA testing uh, because uh, they will be uh, they uh, they want to focus on the suspects and they want the uh, culprit to be identified from the suspects that are under the investigation. Now, a consumer uh, would be very much interested about the genetically modified organisms and bioinformatics can very much help you in analyzing these uh, genetically modified organisms. So, a consumer is very much interested uh, that how these genetically mod modified organisms, they offer advantages and how they offer disadvantages. Um, even uh, a Nasdaq investor uh, who is interested in startup company he would he or she would be very much interested in the field of the bioinformatics but uh, with a very different kind of the context uh, than the consumers or a liar or a policeman so the uh, bioinformatics that holds different meanings and different advantages uh, for uh, for people from different fields uh, of the uh, whether that is biology that is industry uh, that is a liar or a policeman or whatever the case is so these are just some of the uh, applications of the bioinformatics so in the next video um, i'll talk about the uh, protein analysis how the uh, study of the bioinformatics that started uh, with the help of the protein analysis